Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the mega drop down menu using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, where we are going to create a simple menu with hover effect. And when we hover over the list items, the mega drop down menu comes out with a nice transition effect and a simple header below it. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with HTML structure, create the container development with nav section. And within that create the unordered list with 6 list items. Below the nav section, create the header banner development. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm going to use the Open Sans Google Fonts. I'll show you, how to add the Google Fonts in our files. First, search for Google Fonts. Then open the first link. We can choose any font family. I'll go with Open Sans, then select the font weight, then click the Add button. Now we can include the Google Fonts in two ways. First, include the Google Fonts link in the HTML structure and another way is to include the import link in the CSS. I will use the import link. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Add the font family to the body. Here sans serif is the secondary font family, in a case if browser doesn't support the open sans. Style the nav bar by setting 100% width, background color. Set the specific height, padding, and one pixel solid border bottom. Now style the unordered list, 
by setting the width, 100% height which is relative to the height of the nav bar. And set the margin left right values to zero. Remove the bullets using list style property. Style the text by turning the text into uppercase and make the bold. And set the position value to the relative so that we can place its child elements accordingly. Set the width and float the list items to left, use the text align property to place the items, horizontally in the center. And give the padding top bottom values to place the items, vertically in the center. Change the font color and set the margin right value. and use the transition property for smooth transition effect. Now set the last list items, margin right value to zero. Let's inspect and see, by checking and unchecking the margin right value. Set the hover effect to the list items. Now style the header banner div element. Now let's create the Mega Menu, by adding the Mega Menu development within the list item. And inside that add the four inner Mega Menu developments with p-tag elements. Style the Mega Menu, 
by setting the position value to absolute, which is relative to the parent unordered list. Use the top and left properties to align the mega menu below the nav bar. Set the width, height and background color. Set the 40 pixels of the padding, and use the box sizing property. Let's inspect the HTML structure and see how box sizing property works. See here the padding values are included in the width. Now uncheck the box sizing property and see what happens. Here the padding values are adding onto the width, so its total width increases. Set the width and float them to left, set the margin right value. Set the padding values to the P elements. Now let's set the hover effect to the Mega Menu items. First, make the color of the Mega Menu item to white, on hover of the list items. Now set the hover effect to the Mega Menu P elements. Now we can hide the Mega Menu, in many ways, 
Let's try by hiding the Mega Menu using the Display None property. Now on hover, let's make the display property value 2 block. But the problem with display property is, the transition effect doesn't apply to the display property. See whenever we hover over the list items, the mega menu comes out and goes in fastly. So to tackle the issue, we can use the visibility and opacity properties together. Now we can see the transition effect. Add the Mega Menu Dev Elements within the list items. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.